Hi guys, welcome to the Budget Friendly Creations channel. For today's tutorial, we will be making beautiful glam wall sconces on a budget. So for today, we have three DIY wall sconces and I use mostly Dollar Tree items to create these wall sconces and I love the way they turned out. The illumination on the wall is very beautiful and I hope you'll love them as much as I do. So for the items that we'll be needing, LED puck lights, Dollar Tree wavy plates, Dollar Tree foam board, silver glitter, mud podge, mirror, skewers, and soap dishes from the Dollar Tree. So let's start with our first DIY wall sconce. We will be using the wavy plate from the Dollar Tree and they come 12 in a pack. I'm just using a piece of scrap paper to mark out the base of that plate and then I'm going to be using my scissors to cut it out and I'll just use my hot glue to put it on a piece of stick, any stick and that's just to secure the base of my plate. I'm going to be spray painting the sides, the inner sides. And I'll be using my chrome spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I just want to spray paint just the inside, one light layer. And this is what we should have. And we're going to do that for all 16 Dollar Tree plates. So we're using a pack and a half. Then I'm just going to take four of my wavy plates and apply glue. I'm using hot glue for this part and we're attaching four of them together. And then it should look like this and we're going to make four of those. And then I'm just gonna join all four together with my hot glue. And I'm just placing a piece of parchment paper underneath so the glue won't get stuck to the surface. And then this is what it should look like when you're done. And I'm just placing it against a foam board so I can trace out the shape and then I'll use my scissors to cut out the piece and that will be for the wall. Next, I'll be applying my silver glitter and I'll use my Mod Podge to apply it. I'm just going to take a small brush and just put a light layer of Mod Podge over that silver area and then we sprinkle with our glitter. So because the plates are wavy, we have a little bit of gap. So I'm just going to use my hot glue to fill it in. And then I'll just put some extra glitter right on top of the hot glue. And I'm also adding some right along the sides. You could leave it just like this, but I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to be adding some bead landing, eight millimeter beads. And I'll use my tacky glue to do that. 
and I'm just adding a generous amount of tacky glue within all the windows. And it's best to apply the tacky glue within all the windows, all your open areas and leave it to sit and get tacky for a little bit before you start to add your beads. And to hang my sconce on the wall, I'll be using these picture frame hooks. I'm using hot glue for the purpose of this tutorial, but make sure to use a stronger adhesive. And then I'll just add my LED puck lights right in the center and I'm using just one light and I'll use a hot glue to apply it right in the center of my sconce. And here's the final look guys. Let me know what you think about this one. In my opinion, to be honest, I preferred it when it was right here. But everybody have different tastes so let me know what you think I think the best is yet to come so let's move on to the next project for the second project we'll be using a foam board from the Dollar Tree and we're just going to be measuring a three inch square and I'll cut four of those So for this wall sconce, I'll be using mirrors and I'll have all the links to the items I'm using in the description box below the video so you can check them out if you'd like. So for this wall sconce, I'll be using my Loctite PL530 construction adhesive and I'll just use that to attach my foams to my mirrors. So remember to use the links in the description box from any of your favorite content creator. It helps a little bit, not only me, any one of your favorites, okay? Thank you. So I previously cut my foam pieces into 3 inch squares but my mirrors are 3 inches so in order for my mirror pieces to fit snug I have to make room for that. So I'll put the measurement on the screen. This piece is the front. This piece will be the front and then I'll have two side pieces. So I place the sizes on the screen and this is what I have. Now I'll just go ahead and attach all my pieces.
So now that everything is assembled and dry, I'll just go over the glue marks with some off-white paint. And I'm just using a sharp blade to make the edges neat so I can paint it with my gray paint and that will blend it all together. Please do me a favor, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, please turn your bell notifications on so you'll get notified every Friday when I upload a new video. And if you don't feel like subscribing, a thumbs up will do. I'll take a thumbs up. Thank you so much. To all my current subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much for always coming back to support my channel. Thank you. To hang it on the wall, I'll use my command strips and I'll attach it to the back. And then I'll just glue my puck light in the center. And it's as simple as that, guys. That is it. Here it is. So beautiful. I love this one. I really love this one. <laughs> I think it's my favorite. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Let's get on to the third project. So for this project, we'll be using skewers. The Dollar Tree skewers, they sell a 12 pack. This is the one you'll be using. I have leftover skewers from another project, so that's what I'll be using today. And I'll be cutting each one into two and three quarter inches. I'll be using my pliers to cut each one. And then I'm going to be sanding down the edges with my sanding paper just to get them nice and flat so they can stick well to the surface. And I'll do that for all 20 pieces. Okay, so for the top of this one, we'll be using soap dish, by the way. The clear soap dish that they have, two of them. And I'm just going to use my puck light and trace around the soap dish in the center. Make sure it's centered. And then I'm going to use my soldering iron to cut out that center. So now that it's cut, it's big enough to fit our puck light. Um, with just the base of it hanging out, okay? So now I'm going to be using my frosted glass spray paint and I'm just going to give it two layers outside. And after it was dry, I'm wearing my glove in case it's not fully cured and so I won't get any grease on it. Now it's time to apply our skewers and I'm going to be using my hot glue to apply them and I'll start from the two ends and I'll just apply the skewers on the side. And now I have leverage, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my base. I didn't spray paint the base, by the way. I just did the top. And you can go ahead and paint the tips of your dowels because they're showing in my wall sconce when I was done, they were showing. So now I'll just go ahead and I'll attach each of my skewer from the inside. Just watch as I do it, okay? So 
so that's another center one to separate it into four equal parts and then I have 20 skewers so I'll be marking each of this section each quarter section into four so I can have them sort of even So this is our last two and I'm showing you how to do this last two. It was kind of tricky, especially for the last one. And it's okay to get the glue on the sides because the sides won't be showing. I'll be applying my bling ribbon that I made. Um, if you guys would like to see how I made this, please let me know in the comment section below, okay? I made some bling ribbons and I cut them into the sizes that I want. And this is what I'm going to be using to go around the edge of the soap dish. And to apply my glitter ribbon, I'll just be using my hot glue. And this will cover up the ends of the dowels. And to hook my sconce on the wall, I'll be using this aluminum wire and I'll just use my pliers to cut off a piece and then I'll use my hot glue to attach it. But as I said previously, you want to use a stronger adhesive for this part, okay? Now we're going to attach this mirror to the light and the mirror is going to serve as a shield to hide our puck light and it's also decorative. So I'm just going to apply that puck light right in the dead center of the mirror. Make sure that it's center.
and this will give you easy access to change your bulbs. I'm seeing the white puck light, so let's fix that little part. I'm just gonna use a little piece of my bling ribbon and I'm putting the hot glue mainly on the mirror. Now it looks better. To make it look leveled on the wall, I'm just going to add these two little pieces of skewers right at the base since the top part is already going to be hanging off with that hook. And that's it. We're all done. And ta-da! This eye is coming at ya! <laughs> I really love this one. So my favorite is between these two. Please let me know in the comment section which of the wall scones is your favorite. Thank you so much for tuning in and click on the screen to continue watching more of my DIY sconces. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Bye bye.